Hi, this is Rich with Rich Bound Photography, Sacramento, California. And today I'm going to do a very short tutorial on the subject that keeps coming up. And I thought for a while I might as well cover this and help people out in this area. So we all are using lights, hopefully. And uh, when we're shooting with flashes, sometimes we're going to get a hot spot up on the ceiling there or over there or both places. So this tip and trick, I guess you'd call it, um, is going to be showing you how to take your ambient exposure and mask out the issues you have with your flash exposure. So sit back and watch as I'm going to try and not only show you but to describe to you so you will comprehend this concept of how to think about your shot as you're shooting and thinking of your editing, because that's really the most important thing, as you're shooting, even setting up your shot, you should be thinking of the parts, what will I need when I get home to edit. So sit back and watch this tutorial, and I think it will help you if you're having trouble with those darn hot spots up in the ceilings. Okay, now we're in Lightroom, and as you can see, this is just a normal real estate house a uh, small house I did and it's a good example because right here I'm off camera to the right I am using a flash pointing straight up to give it some light over here and I have a big hot spot there so how do you fix that well I'm now going to take my ambient exposure and I'm going to highlight both of these and the first thing I want to do is actually with my flash exposure I want to use my full bump or my special sauce and I'm just going to turn the exposure down just a little bit and that's a good image I can work with now on my ambient image I'm going to first try and get the white balance better so I'm using the eyedropper tool right here and I'm clicking on something white and it actually worked pretty well but it's got now a lot of the orange is out but the um, blue is higher so I'm going to take out my blue. There we go. I'm going to take out my orange because I got a lot of orange or yellow up here. So I'm just going to take that out right up here and then my yellow out right there. Now I now the image is fixed in some ways, but it's got a lot of it's very cool. So I'm going to bring up my overall temperature just a little bit like right there. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to take out my highlights to see. Look over here if this helps right here. There you go. Okay. And uh, that looks good. So I'm pretty good between the two. So I'm going to look at my flash shot and my ambient shot. I'm actually going to raise the exposure of my ambient shot just a little bit. So uh, these two are very similar looking now, but mainly I want to use it for over here. So what I want to do here is just take my gradient tool. And if you're not familiar with the gradient tool, I'm sure you can find a great tutorial on that. And I'm just going to go into exposure and I'm going to bring it up about a stop right there. And I'm going to bring my gradient tool right here. OK, and I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit. And I'm actually going to make that a little bit bluer. Take out that yellow. There we go. Now, I think that's going to fit my ambient, my flash out much better. OK. So let's now right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Open anyway. I've got to update my Lightroom, as many people know, or my Photoshop. I'm going to take a little sip and say, please subscribe to the Rich Baum Tips and Trick for Real Estate Photography YouTube channel. Ah, iced coffee. I love it. And um, check out our new podcast, Shooting Spaces podcast.net and a lot of other really exciting things coming up for you but be sure to subscribe okay so i'm now going to highlight both the images go up into edit auto align layers there we go okay we do that with everything so i'm just doing it for you okay i'm now clicking on the upper the top layer which is the ambient layer and i'm making a new layer mask i'm holding down option on a mac and Alt on a PC. It's the same key, just different for the different platforms. Here we go. Okay, so now I just want to start with make sure I'm in white over here. The paintbrush is in white. If you're on black, 
like here. All you have to do is hit the X key and it swaps it. So white is reveal or painting in. I want to go now to my paintbrush and I want to make sure that I am at zero hardness and I am at 6% flow. Okay, there we go. So I'm all set up. I'm in normal here mode, normal here mode. So that's all we need. So now I want to fix this first and I'm going to, op I'm going to enlarge my, um, there we go, hold on a second. Okay, 6%. I'm going to enlarge my brush by hitting my bracket key and I'm just going to go here and get rid of that hot spot. And you can see how easy it is. Really super easy. Now, I got a lot of uh, hotness over here too, so I'm just going to add an ambient over here and a little bit of ambient down in here. Okay, now I want to go over here and add in a little ambient over here. I probably should have taken this picture, this image with the with this light off so I could control it. But it doesn't bother me too much. And this is a just a really quick shoot uh, I did on a um, very small house. But it's just something I just happened to have that would work to teach you how to get rid of that hot spot over there. And let's go in here and give it a little bit of exposure in the kitchen back there. And that's actually called letting the ambient do your heavy lifting. So we just did a few techniques and it only took a minute. I'm going to actually bring in a little more ambient over here to mask it in. Now, as I always like to try, I'm in normal mode. Everybody's always asking, what about luminosity mode down here? So look at the image and I'll count to three and click luminosity. But look where we fixed it or we put the ambient. Let's see if it's better or worse. One, two, three. There we go. See, I got luminosity here and I don't like it because it's all blue here. So I'm going to go back to that and turn it to normal mode again. And I'm okay with this. So I'm just going to close this image out, but that just shows you how to get rid of the hot spot. You could actually do a lot more to make this a better picture, but I just want to deal with this one technique. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Don't save. Now I'm going to go back to Lightroom and I'm going to now pick the next shot. Next shot. This is the same room, but I have a hot spot over here. And I'm going to now add my full bump. There we go. And I'm going to bring down the exposure just a little bit. Good there. And I want to expose this a little bit better here. So I'm just going to increase my exposure a little bit here. There we go. Okay. Now I have a window pull shot too I did here and I fixed the floor, but I don't really want to get into that in this video. I will do that in another video. Right now I just want to show you how to fix the hot spot. So I'm taking my ambient shot and first thing I'm going to do again is to use my eyedropper tool. I'm going to try it right here. That's okay. Let me try it here. Nope, I don't like that as much. Let me try it over here. Well, you're going to look at this and go, ooh, I don't like that at all, but let's see what we can do. Let's take out the blue. Okay. Let's take out some of the orange and the red and the yellow. Now, let's warm it up a little bit. Okay. Take out the highlights. I'm just prepping my ambient shot. Okay. There. And now I've been adding a little bit of dehaze to my ambient shot. Look at how it's going to help it. One, two, three. There we go. Because the ambient shot tends to be a little bit hazy. So I'm add a little bit of clarity. And there we go. And you can see now I'm just going to highlight both my images. My right, my flash shot, and my ambient shot. I'm actually going to now take out a little more of that orange. The only problem is that couch is orange. So I'm losing a little bit of that. But that's okay. So I've got these two. And let me... Um, bring up the exposure of this ambient just a little bit more and actually maybe bring in some shadows. No, I'm fine with that. Okay, just a little bit more, like one stop over. So we can look at what it was originally and you can see it was yellow and such and how we fixed it. And here I made the ambient look more like the flash shot. Okay, so and there's the flash shot. We just added a little bit of, um, boy, which one I think this is... Uh, after is right here so that's looking good okay so i'm going to turn that off and i'm now going to take these and i'm going to go up into photo edit in open as layers in photoshop 
Okay, open anyway. Have another little sip of iced coffee. And yes, it is ice, iced coffee to you naysayers out there. I want to welcome you back to the Tips and Tricks YouTube channel because I've been really very busy. I just finished my last workshop and I'm now going to have a little more time for my tutorials. So here I am. Okay, so again, let's highlight both the images. Go to Edit. Let's do our Auto Align Layers in Auto and OK. Now I'm going to click the Ambient Layer. Hold down Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC and add a layer mask. One, two, three. There I go. Now, all I really want to do here is just fix this hot spot. There we go. Maybe get a little bit of ambient down here and in there. Maybe a little bit of here. There we go. Okay. So, again, I told you I've got this um, blue here, but I've got another tutorial. I'll show you how I can fix that with a window uh, with a flash pointing at the floor and I will release that probably next uh, so if you stand by or if you're watching this a day or a week or a year after I made it you'll be able to find it I'll, I, I don't know what I'll call it but you'll be able to find it so there we go I'm pretty happy there and let's see the original shot one two three there's the hot spot and let's see it fixed oops <laughs> wrong one there we go so that was really quick and easy. And you can utilize this technique all the time. All you need to do is make sure you have an ambient shot to fill in the issues that you've got. And the best time to find those issues as, is when you're shooting them. Okay, last shot, final shot. I've got a hot spot here. I've also got a hot spot in the window. And I've actually got a few more things I can fix in this video. I've got some shadows from the these pendant lights and uh, a little bit hot here so let's just mainly take out this see what we can get with the other um, with our ambient to help all this other stuff out got a little bit of glare on the cabinets i can just show you all that in this but the main thing is is let's do our full bump our special sauce great and you can see the histograms a little high so i'm just going to bring that down to about there and i like that right there now i'm going to do one more thing is add a little exposure up in here there we go Maybe a little less. There we go. That's the gradient tool. If you're not familiar with it, check it out. Okay, now I've got to do my ambient shot. So I'm going to highlight that too. So both are highlighted. And I'm going to go look at the ambient. And look at the flash. Look at the ambient. So I'm going to now do my ambient out preset. There we go. That's really simple. It just, um, excuse me, it takes out the highlights adds a little I'm adding a little dehaze actually right now a little clarity and it takes out the orange here so that's that's what works for me really well but I think I want to take out even more orange and yellow but what I'm going to do instead I'm going to try a, a white balance um, auto um, my white balance eyedropper tool so let's go to something we know is white and that could be even this little um, uh, switch plate right here we know is white so let's go there oh that actually helped but it made it too blue so let's take out the blue okay there we go and let's add in a little bit of warmth I'm kind of going backwards on this so it's gonna be a harder one so let's just look at that now um I guess I can do it the way it is because I'm looking here and I'm just going to add in the or the um, the ambient shot right here so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do another trick okay I'm going to take this ambient shot right here I'm going to single that out and I'm going to right click and create a virtual copy okay so now I have a virtual copy now this room is okay and this room is actually about the color it is it's off white it's kind of yellow like that so you can see it actually here in the flash shot that's the color it is so we want to make that this room in here in the ambient shot the same color so i'm going to take my virtual copy and i'm just going to make it much more orange there we go okay now don't worry about this room in here at all 
Don't worry about that. Just worry about in, he, in there, okay? And I'm going to bring up just a little bit of my orange here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this image just for this room in here. Then we've got this ambient shot for over here. And we're going to fix the cabinets with this ambient shot. And we're going to fix the flash shot. So now we're going to highlight all three of them. I hope you're following along. We're going to go photo, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so basically I'm showing you that you can take an image and you can duplicate it and you can make one image into two images and both images have different parts you're going to mask in. So hopefully this will work. Okay, so this is going to be my back room. Okay, hold on a second. We know that this image here is the room right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this first. So I'm turning off this image, this ambient image. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to highlight the ambient image just for this room over here. That's going to take out the hot spot, and it's going to really add in a little bit of ambient there. Okay. So I'm now going to do, as always, Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and add a layer mask. Okay. So now, even just freehand, I'm just going to paint it in. There we go. And you see the color adjustment I did with that ambient shot really fit pretty well. I actually got a little bit on the upper part up here, so I don't like that. So I'm going to now take, go hit X to erase. See that guy went to black there, and I'm going to erase that right there. Okay, there we go. So I fixed the hot spot, as you can see. Let's turn that off. Okay. So I did that with the ambient shot that we made yellow. And I'm going to now use the ambient over here to, I'm going to go back to white reveal, hit X. And I'm just going to bring in a little ambient in here. And uh, I'm going to actually bring an ambient in the window because we just see a fence out there. And actually these windows too, because I don't really like the view here. So anyway, we're just freehanding it. Really simple and easy. And I don't mind that brighter area up there because that light is coming naturally from the window. Okay, so now let's highlight our other shot, which we're going to just use for this part of the room. And I'm going to click it, and I'm going to add a layer mask, same way I did before. And what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to mask in a little bit of ambient. There we go. And it's taking out those shadows. But it's adding in another shadow, which is the ambient shadow. You can see right here, right there. That's the ambient shadow. So I'm going to get rid of that too. So I'm going to hit X and paint back that flash here. Okay. There we go. And I'm just blending in it as best I can. Okay. Now, what are we going to fix with it now? We're going to fix this window. Okay, let's go there. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. I'm on black right now. I have to get on, on white. There we go. And I'm fixing that glare over there. A little bit of ambient up in here. And now I'm going to fix these cabinets with ambient there. And we've got a little bit of uh, shadow underneath the cabinet. This is really handy for kitchens because you can usually use the ambient to get rid of that shadow underneath there. There we go. And a little bit more here. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of ambient under the chair here. There we go. There we go. And a little bit here. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. It's fine um, for a real estate shot. Just, a, you know, again, this is a really small house. This is probably the uh, smallest job I'll do. And I, I feel I give it more than more than enough. I'm very happy with it. So let's turn off these two layers and look at our shot before. We had the hotspot shadows here from the pendant lights. Glare, glare, shadow, hot down here. And we saw all the way out these windows. So now we're going to turn on the other layers we fixed. And I think it's much better overall. So I'm going to now just go back into Lightroom. I'm not even going to save it. And I'm just going to show you 
what we could do. And I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by the Rich Baum YouTube channel. And I want to say please subscribe and uh, listen to our podcast called Shooting Spaces, a real estate photography podcast. The link will be in the show notes. Please use my Adorama link if you're going to buy something. It really helps make these free tutorials. And just have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. Leave your comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, and I will reply to your comments as soon as I get them. Thank you very much. Goodbye.